Welcome to War India News R. Can technological advancements reduce disaster resilience? Artificial intelligence is poised to disrupt the world and AI presents opportunities to complement and supplement human intelligence and enrich the way people live and work. US and a large number of other countries have reaped the benefits of investing in tech research is not a hidden story. What defense or academic or research complex can deliver is known the world over. Staying on with the same reliable industry partners delivers wonderful results is also known. You have to be abreast with the technology. To be abreast with the enemy is the mantra of the war in the tech age. Only such an effort can provide you the tech intuition, intelligence and guts to call out the impending dangers and get ready for it. That is not fear mongering. Tech preparation in peace gives the best results is also too well known because it requires undiluted attention of the powers who actually need it. The ease at which a cheap drone can be transformed into a military weapon having the capability to stealthily get deep into an airbase, inflict damage without a trace is what tech prowess is all about. The warning signs were all over from the Caracas drone attack of 2018, the Gatwick airport drone sightings, the Aramco incident and the killings in vicinity of the Baghdad International Airport. The drone story in the Azerbaijan success and its implications for the future of modern warfare has been discussed in the recent past. The battle of Kamikaze drones of Hamas against the might of Israeli Iron Dome interceptor system would be finding its place in the analysis of warfare. In this ascendancy of drone as a potent weapon, it was just a matter to time when was the only question left to be answered which happened with the Jammu drone attack. Let's look into today's headlines in War India. Prime Minister Modi chairs high-level meet with Rajnath Singh, NSA, Ajit Doval. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had chaired a high-level meeting with Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah and NSA Ajit Doval on futuristic challenges in the defence sector. A discussion on equipping Indian armed forces with modern pieces of equipment was also held during the meeting. The meeting took place two days after a drone attack on an Indian Air Force base in Jammu injured two personnel. The use of a drone became a new security threat for the country. Delhi police files FIR against Twitter for having child porn on site, says NCPCR. Delhi Police Cybercell informed the National Commission for the Protection of Child Rights on Tuesday that the Delhi Police has filed an FIR against Twitter. The FIR was lodged in response to a complaint made by NCPCR which claimed that child pornographic videos and links were available on the microblogging site. The copy of the FIR says that Twitter for the child pornographic content available on the microblogging services NCPCR chief Priyanka Kanungo stated. Cyber frauds worth crores found in two new villages in Haryana. With a combined population of 30,000, the two villages and their neighbouring areas in Mewat are emerging as Haryana's own Jamtara. It is the same village in Jharkhand village known of digital frauds or phishing. Many of these are barely class 5 or class 6 pass. They use multiple modus operandi to cheat their targets like they identify their targets from social media portals, send them Facebook requests, take numbers from Just Dial, befriend their targets and then dupe them of their money. They send links of various gaming apps to their targets that once downloaded can be used to siphon off money from the downloader's bank accounts. 16,000 SIM cards recovered from 7 people in Orissa. Growing unemployment is leading the younger techies including in the cybercrime. Seven people have been arrested and over 16,000 SIM cards recovered from them when police busted an alleged cybercrime syndicate at Katak in Odisha. Commissioner of Police Bhuvaneshwar Katak, SK Priyadarshi, said the pre-activated SIMs were sold outside the state. These SIMs were created using fake IDs. Visuals shows that a large number of cell phones have also been recovered from the accused. Teach Mint empowers 1 million plus tutors across India teach online for free. 
Bangalore based startup Teachment is the brainchild of IIT alumnus Mihir Gupta and his team has developed a SaaS based mobile first end to end solution which allows them to not only host and record their classes but also hand out assignments take attendance and more the pandemic posed a huge challenge to stakeholders of the indian education system especially individual tutors who were used to the offline setup it enables millions of tutors to continue teaching online without having to deal with fragmented and complex digital tools that's all for now please like share comment and subscribe to war india news magazine you can download the war india app from google play store for the latest news and updates stay tuned thank you